If you plan on starting a profitable business, then cattle farming can be an option. You will require lots of funds and vast land to start this business and can easily earn from either dairy products or even by selling animals on a large scale. In case you are a beginner, here is a step-by-step -step guide about how to start with the cattle farm business, and by the end of this guide, you will be knowledgeable enough about how to go with your business and how to operate it successfully. Writing a business plan is essential, as it will help you out in sorting every aspect. Suppose you want your business plan to be right then. In that case, it must cover the cost of establishment, the cost of purchasing animals, the salary for the staff, the cost of cattle maintenance and their food, overheads, and the management of the pastures. It would be best if you also kept planning regarding the situations of emergency so that it would not trouble you. Also, insurance purchasing for your animals will be a fruitful decision as you do not know what unforeseen occurrences you may encounter in the future. In a nutshell, a good business is one that will provide you with a solution when you are helpless. One of the most critical factors in cattle farming is selecting the ideal location for business. Facilities like transportation and edible vegetation are very much required. It is best if you already have land, as purchasing may cost a lot. Also, need an idea about the vegetation, type of soil, rate of the stock market, capacity to carry pastures, demands of the market, and other criteria. If you cannot work with man labor as you require machine power to carry out specific tasks, always regulate the size of your farm, the type of operation that you will be working on, the condition of your finance, and the facilities like fencing, a shelter for cattle, feeding them, etc. Also, bunks and watering facility is required to be included. The shelter is a mandatory factor for cattle. To keep cattle safe and secure, have to build many parlors. In case you are planning on a dairy business, then you will require stanchions with parlors. Beef cattle require barns for themselves. Do not have to worry about them much. The water providing source is required to keep your cattle hydrated and your pastures green. You may also require the installation of plumbing and other irrigation systems for barn. You will have to make stands that will hold the cows and other animals. Beef cattle do not require much maintenance, as just sheltering. Them is enough. Decide on the type of breed of cattle that you want to farm. The maintenance and budget differ for each breed, so plan accordingly. Most of the time, beginners start it with dairy products or beef. Raising dairy cattle requires more maintenance and types of equipment in comparison to raising beef cattle. Sort it out before so that you do not get confused. There are many cattle breeds that you can choose. However, each cattle has its maintenance and advantages. However, always choose a breed that is readily available in your area. Do not choose something that may not be compatible with the vegetation or even the climatic condition. It is going to be your loss then. In case you have decided to start beef cattle farming, you must choose those who are good in temperament and not intense. They must not be labor-intensive breeds. However, we would suggest not go for them if you are a beginner. Their aggressive nature can cause a lot of problems. However, you can also choose both breeds of beef and milk. It is how you prefer. Once you are settled with the purpose of your farm and also the type of breed, the next step is to buy the cattle. While purchasing the cattle, check that they have traits like mothering ability, conformation that is great, and convertibility of temperament forage. Do not make haste and buy all of them in one go, make sure to check all these traits, and buy only the favorable ones. Do not buy the ones that look thin and weak. If you have a tight budget and you are planning to wait for two or more years, do not buy a bull until and unless you have 10 cows in your herd. Also, artificial insemination breeding is better when you deal with such cases. Whether you are doing business with dairy cattle or beef cattle, feeding them is very necessary. 
The quality of feeding should be of very high quality. They must stay healthy. Producing your feed for the cattle is an excellent option. However, you have to determine the amount of pasture that you might need for your cattle. Please produce your hay, as buying it from another dealer may turn out to be expensive. As feeding your cattle may cost a lot, you have to be mentally prepared for all of these. You also have to tend to the animal's health and hygiene. You have to tend them with a lot of food and care so that they can stay all right. Always call up a nutritionist, veterinarian, or other professionals. If you are involved in dairy cattle, then you have to take a lot of care. A good veterinarian or a nutritionist can help you out in keeping your cattle healthy. Calves are to be vaccinated annually right after they take birth. Also, seek advice from your nutritionist regarding the food that you will feed your cattle. To put back proper nutrients in your pasture, you can use cow manure. Use it for the better, as unattended manure may attract flies and parasites that may create an unhygienic environment for your cattle. You can also use cow manure as fertilizer by storing them for months. Make a disposal plan for the manure, in case you do not want to make your compost. Do follow the laws if there are any. Some areas have rules and laws regarding compost. Keep a record of all the finances, vaccinations, breeding, calving, purchases, sales, and every other important aspect of your operation. It is mandatory in some places to keep a record of your cattle herding. You may even require some radio frequency tag for every animal that you purchase, sell, or even the newborns.